Here's how to figure out if an equation is linear in just five minutes. All right, here's our first example. We have an equation here, and we need to figure out if this is linear or not linear. Linear basically just means that if we were to graph this equation, it would be a straight line. If it would like make a curve or something, then that means not linear. If you're taking an algebra class right now, you might know that the equation for a straight line is y equals mx plus b. This is the equation that all straight lines are in. But this equation actually doesn't apply if you have like a curved line or something else that's not a straight line. Which means if we want to figure out if this equation is a straight line, we all we need to do is try to make it y equals mx plus b. If it turns into y equals mx plus b, then we have a straight line. If it's impossible to turn it into y equals mx plus b, then it's not a straight line. So in this equation, y is by itself. So let's try to get y by itself in this equation and see if it turns into this form. So we can get y by itself by getting rid of this minus 5. And we can do the opposite of minus, which is plus, to get rid of it. So we will add 5 to both sides. These cancel out. And on this side, we're just left with y. On the other side, we have 3x plus 5. This has the letter and this doesn't, so you can't add these together. So we'll just leave it as 3x plus 5. And already we can see, yep, that's y equals mx plus b, right? m would be 3 and b would be 5. So our final answer is yes, this is a linear equation. All right, here's another example. We have x, y equals 7. Well, whenever we have two letters or a number and a letter next to each other and there's no sign, that means it's multiplication, right? So we'll get y by itself like before and see if it turns into y equals mx plus b. So this is multiplication, so we need to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. We need to get rid of this x to leave y by itself, so we will divide both sides by x. These cancel out, x divided by x is just 1, and we're left with y. On the other side, we have 7 divided by x. You can't divide a number in a letter, so it just stays like that. So this does not look like y equals mx plus b, right? Because we have something divided by x, and the only way to fix that would be to move x back over to this side again. So this is not going to ever turn into y equals mx plus b. So basically, whenever you see two letters being multiplied by each other, or whenever you see something being divided by a letter, those are both signs that it's not linear, because you will never be able to turn those into y equals mx plus b. So our final answer is that this is non-linear. It will probably be like a curved line of some kind. All right, here's another example. What I'd like you to do is go ahead and pause the video, try to figure out if this is linear or non-linear, and then unpause and see how you did. All right, so we'll do what we did before. We'll try to get y by itself and see if it becomes y equals mx plus b. So we can get rid of this 2 next to the y, but that's more attached to the y right now, so we probably don't want to get rid of that now. We don't want to deal with fractions. So let's get rid of this 2x first. So we can get rid of this 2x by subtracting it from the equation. These cancel out, and on this side, we're just left with 2y. On the other side, we have 4 minus 2x, which you can't subtract a number and another number with a letter in it, so we'll just leave it as that. And now we can get y by itself by noticing that this is multiplication and do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So we can get rid of this 2 by dividing both sides by 2. These cancel out, and on this side we're left with y. But on the other side, we are dividing this by 2, and we have to divide both of these terms by 2. So we'll start with 4 divided by 2, which is 2, and then negative 2x divided by 2. Well, the negative sign is going to stay, and then 2 divided by 2 is 1. And we do have an x here, so the x has to carry over, but we don't have to put 1x. If you have 1x, that's just x. If, if you don't have the number here, you assume it's 1, so we'll leave it like that. So is this y equals mx plus b? Well, at first glance, you might say, no, it doesn't look like that because we have the number first and then we have x. But in reality, that's the same thing, because we can just switch the order of these. Now, if we were to switch the order of these, we can't just turn it into x minus 2. You can't switch the order of subtraction. But as long as you keep the minus sign on the x, we can switch the order. So you can say that this is minus x plus 2. And in this case, this actually is y equals mx plus b. The m is just 1, because we don't have a number here, so you assume it's 1. And then we have plus b, and our b is 2. So yes, this is a straight line. So this would be a linear equation. All right, here's another example. Go ahead and pause the video, see if you can figure out if this is linear or non-linear, and then unpause and see how you did. So here we're dividing by x, and we can't do that, so this is non-linear. 
Okay, maybe we could have taken that a little slower, but yes, that's absolutely true. If you see that it's being divided by x, it's probably nonlinear. We could also reason this through by saying, well, y is already by itself. So anything we do to both sides is just going to add it to the y and like reverse what we're already trying to do, which is to get y by itself. So there's nothing that we can do to turn this into y equals mx plus b. So in this case, it is nonlinear. So that was a quick lesson. I hope it helped. But in reality, a lot of things in math aren't that quick to learn. And this isn't the only thing that you're going to have to know how to do with equations. You're also going to have to know how to graph them. So if you want to learn how to graph these kinds of equations, then you can watch this video right here. And as always, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.